Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. I uh, want to start by making sure that you saw the email that came out from our uh, board of trustees on Sunday announcing a congregational meeting for March 5th and talking a little bit about the next steps in our Building Our Vision project. Um, I'll put a link to the whole message in the comments, um, but the short version is uh, we are having a meeting on March 5th um, to uh, vote on approving a uh, capital campaign. Um, and the numerical figure for that that we're working with right now is 2.2 million. We got um, a really favorable uh, financial feasibility study done. So we are excited. That's It's a little bit of a stretch goal, but we think we can do it. Um, and uh, we are working on the board and the Building Our Vision team are working on what exactly the scope is that will fit into that. Um, it will uh, be as much of the visionary plan as we can do, um, minus um, the removal of some pews. We were we were originally talking about removing about three pews on either side, and we're we're not talking about that anymore. Um, so uh, there are we're going to be having lots of conversations about all of this over the next month. I really hope you will um, join us. I'm going to be preaching about it some this Sunday. Uh, we're going to be talking about grounding in mission and what happens when we ground ourselves in our mission and how far we can go together when we do that. Um, so we'll be talking about that this Sunday and I will be um, inviting folks if you want to join me to reflect on that a little bit after the service from 1130 to 12 or to ask questions. Um, I'll be in the, the fellowship room and um, would love to connect with folks. Um, we are also, every Sunday in February, um, we will have uh, a, a session after church from 11.30 to 12.30, um, where we will be focusing on different um, aspects of the project um, and offering some time for reflection on those aspects, as well as uh, some time for a little bit of information sharing and talking about like, what is a capital campaign? What does that even mean for us to do this? Um, so that's going to be every Sunday in February, 1130 to 1230. Um, you can join either in the fellowship room or um, on Zoom for those. I hope you will join us for one or more of those. Um, this is a really exciting time in our congregation. So um, make sure you read that message from the board. I hope you'll join us for one of these after church conversations um, and definitely reach out to me or to the board uh, with any questions that might come up uh, in, this, in this next six weeks as we're moving towards um, the next step in this process. Uh, we've got um, a few other things happening this week as well. Uh, there... The Danielle and Harry are continuing to offer a spiritual nourishment time um, on Wednesdays from noon to 1230. Um, that is inspired by the 30 Days of Love, uh, which is our UUA's um, uh, season that they have that happens between Martin Luther King Jr. Day and Valentine's Day. It's a time for um, lifting up and focusing on some of the justice work uh, we do as a larger association and in our congregations. And this year it's focused on spiritual nourishment. How do we nourish ourselves as justice makers? Um, so come to connect with others um, and to connect with some of the materials from the 30 Days of Love. It's just half an hour. It's on Zoom. I'll put the Zoom link in the comments. Um, Danielle and Harry would love to see you um, and would love to have you join that. Uh, this Saturday, the uh, January 28th, we are um, having a leadership summit, and the topic of the leadership summit is uh, creating your own UU elevator speech. And I'm so excited. Caro, um, our ministerial intern, is going to be facilitating it. Um, and Caro and I talked about it yesterday, and I think it's going to be a really stellar program. So I, um, I hope you'll consider joining us. It is 9.30 to 1.30. We will be serving lunch. 
Um, it's going to be in the dining room. Um, and we are asking you to sign up beforehand so we know how many people to get lunch for. Um, and we know what your dietary needs are. I'll put the link in the comments to where you can sign up. Um, and it is, you don't have to know anything coming in. So if you're new to Unitarian Universalism, uh, this can be just as good of an exercise, uh, a workshop as if you've been around for a long time. Um, and I'm excited. I'll be there as well. Um, Caro's in charge, but I will be there, uh, supporting Caro and being with you all. And, um, I'm so excited to hear, uh, what, what, what we create during that workshop. So again, that's this Saturday, 9.30 to 1.30, um, and we are asking you to sign up so we know how much, uh, how much lunch to get. Um, on Sunday, um, I already talked a little bit about the service that I'm planning for Sunday and the reflection time. It's just 11.30 to 12 this Sunday. Um, uh, it's with me. I'll, I'll be there available to, to answer questions and just to, to hear your reflections on, uh, on, how, on us moving into this next uh, stage of this project. Um, we also, before that, uh, you can do, we're doing kind of like a, a quick little service project. It is for the New Hampshire Community Bail Fund, um, which uh, we have folks in our congregation who are really active with that group. Um, and they um, bail people out of jail who are, uh, are being held on really low bail um, typically. Um, and we are going to be packing bags for that group to give to the folks who they bail out. So they've created a list of some things that they think would be useful. Um, we're going to make 30 bags for winter and 30 bags for spring. So they'll be slightly different. Um, and, uh, we, there are still, still some things that we're trying to collect for those bags. I have, there's a sign up genius that I'll put in the comments. So you can sign up, uh, to bring a few items for those bags. Um, and then after the service on Sunday, um, so kind of from 11 to 11.30 in the chapel, uh, we'll be packing those bags. So you can go in and actually help put them together. Um, so, uh, I invite you to sign up to donate something or to join us to put those bags together. Um, uh, also on Sunday, there is a young adult meetup happening. So young adults in Unitarian Universalism are folks who are 18 to 35. Um, so this group is for any, any of you all who are 18 to 35 and would like to, um, like to get together with other young adults in the congregation. It'll be 1130 to 1230 also in the chapel. So young adults, you're welcome to go pack a bag and then just hang out in the chapel with other young adults. Um, and well, y'all will be talking more about um, ways that that you'd like to connect uh, going forward, um, and hopefully doing some uh, fun social events in the future. Um, we are continuing to look for uh, greeters and fellowship hour hosts uh, for uh, um, for Sundays. We have made. Um, Fellowship Hour, uh, we've streamlined the directions for that a little bit. Um, so we encourage you to sign up even if all you want to do is put out um, cold drinks, put out juice and water. Um, you can even do that. Uh, next step up would be to make coffee um, and tea and hot water for tea. Um, Erica and I are going to be working on some videos tomorrow um, about how to do things like how to make coffee in our kitchen and how to run the dishwasher and where things are. Um, so if you've been thinking, I just don't know quite enough, um, we're going to make some videos that'll hope you hopefully um, make that uh, something that feels more manageable. Uh, so I'm going to put the link in the comments where, for where you can sign up um, for uh, greeting and fellowship hour, um, and we would really love uh, love your support in making both those things happen. That's what I've got for you this week. Um, I'll have more next week, of course. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, I really hope I'll see you on Sunday um, or on Saturday at the Leadership Summit, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful week.